How's it going, fellow Vanguards? Ina for Cart Fake Calgary, and today we are with. My name is Josh Setzer, and I took second place at the Vanguard tournament. For uh, Vancouver Bushville World Championship qualifiers. Yes. And he's been kind enough to share with us his deck profile that got him second place, so uh, let's just get right into it. Let's do, do it. it. So, um, for my starter, I run two Baby Kamara, for those of you who don't know what he does. He's a Generation Break 1, kind of last one. Uh, when he dies, you can call a grade one, only grade ones, and give it plus three. Uh, I run two, just in case the first one dies, the Shadow Kagoro matchup, so pretty simple. Um, next, I run four of the Sledge Ankylio, plus three into Soul. Four of this guy, he gives plus three if he goes into Soul. Um, good for a card, I'll explain later on. And then. The just so five draws, simple. Yeah. Um, next, we run three of Ancient Dragon Dino Dial. It's only three crits in the deck. No. <laughs> and then uh, four of the Gaius mm -hmm. crit trigger. This one on flips. So pretty Sometimes simple stuff. Five, yeah. Pretty simple. Um, and obviously four heal because you know you want to go into Gluttony Dogma. And if you can kill him, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, grade ones, I run one of the Engorge PG. Uh, so, generation break one, and he has Engorge already. When he kills something, he gets plus five. For Counter Blaster one, you can bounce it back to hand. Um, it's good for the Kamara search if you want to add more pressure. Uh, and you get a free perfect guard to hand, which is really cool. So, And then, of course, the other three perfect guards are Savage Heroine, or Savage Guardian, my bad. She is the unflip PG. So, there you go. pretty self-explanatory. Um, four stride fodder. It's a stride deck. You want to do that? So. Switch for Gaia. Right? Search for Gaia. All that good she has. Um, one savage heroine. She is a six K, but she is she can be a monster. When she engorges, she gets plus three, and she gets plus three for every other engorged unit. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, How often do you ever get this off? Um, I get it off sometimes as a finisher. Mm -hmm. uh, or like I call her and then I use uh, Gaia's skill to target her. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm thinking about bumping her up to two though, just from the experience of the tournament. So that might change. Um, and then four Cold Dragon Freezer Nicks. This guy has opened up a lot of plays in the deck. Um, he is a generation break one. You can only activate his skill if you have Gaia. You counter charge one, soul charge one, and you give a unit plus two when he dies. So. It opens up your Mammoth plays, your Gaia skills, all sorts of jets. Uh, so he's pretty good. Next, um, four Tank Mammoth. A lot of people see this guy as kind of the MVP of the deck. Yeah, I learned how the hard way. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can uh, be really, really strong in rush situations. Or with Dark Rex and just Dogma in general. So kind of blast one, soul blast one. No GB when he dies on your turn. He can come back and he gets plus three. So he becomes an 11k, easily gets over the 11k vanguards. Possibly really one good. of the best cards in the deck. Um, two Earth Elementals. Um, he's there for the Link Joker matchup, so last one, he unflips, or unlocks units. I'm thinking about bumping him down to one because I didn't play a lot of Link Joker, and after that, I just kept calling him and he was kind of there, so may go down to one. Um, three of Jigsaw. This guy is another MVP of the deck. Uh, at least a lot of people think so. Um, he's the Amber clone, kind of plus one. When he's boosted, retire a unit. He gets plus five, and if he hits, he draws one. Pretty good pressure, right? A lot of pressure with this card. It's insane. Um, but I'm, we'll see how uh, we'll see how the deck changes um, in the future. Yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, I didn't use him that often, but he's still there. Spider Moves always appreciated, right? Yeah. Um, two Beam Dragon Apple Mazer. He is the uh, Glimmer Breath clone. So, Generation Break 1, Counter Blast, uh, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. If you have Gaia, he gets plus 2, and when he engorges, he gets plus 5 and he auto draws. So, I prefer him more over Jigsaw just because he gets a, a guaranteed draw. But on hit pressure is also good. And he forms monstrous columns sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, grade threes. We have two Rage Dragon Tyrannobrute. 
typical counter blast one, soul blast one for uh, Engorge unit. And then rearguard skill generation break one. He gets uh, plus five for each unit he eats. He can be a lifesaver, but he can also be kind of the game changer, so only two of him. Of course, the boss of the deck, four, Emperor Dragon, Gaia Emperor. Uh, generation Break 2, he's got Engorge. If he eats a unit, he gets plus five and a crit. So, <laughs> and on stride, kind of boss one, choose two of your units, uh, call up to two units, and then choose two units, and when they die, they come back. The which, better alt mile. <laughs> the better alt mile. Sorry, alt my players. That's the truth, man. <laughs> um, and then, of course, uh, the big bad boss himself, two Dark Rex. Um, Blows a lot of games out. Oh, man. Yeah, I had to ride into him, I think, a few times. Um, limit Break, You when your Vanguard attack does not hit, you retire three and rewrite him. And if he's put in the bind zone, you give a unit plus three. So this card, you can put in the bind zone, give Mammoth plus three, swing with Mammoth, have an Engorge unit, swing, eat this, and swing again for 11 or 16. And essentially you can make Dogma like, you can potentially, right? Yeah, you Dogma can, times. yeah, you can go, uh, basically um, the play is you swing, swing, Dogma, swing with rear guard, leave this one open, swing with Vanguard, retire three, re-ride to Dark Rex, and then power up this column even more. So it's pretty good. Alright, uh, what are the strides? Uh, strides? One dismal. He's just there just in case I need to keep Kamara alive early game. Uh, and that's it. He just protects the unit. So. And it's a cray elemental for... Yeah, for uh, poker. Uh, two screws, because Tachis don't really have any other G-Guardians except the one I'm about to talk about. He gets plus 10 after you pitch a card. Uh, Phalanx. He's the only G-Guardian for Tachis right now. Unfortunately. But it's kind of good because when you're playing against Kagro or something, if you have less regards than your opponent, he gets plus five. So it's auto. Easy conditions, right? Easy condition, which is nice. Um, the card that got me a lot of wins yesterday, Grotto Gigant. Oh man, this card. So what he does is he has Engorge. When he eats three units, he draws. But for every unit he uh, eats, he gets plus five. He can become an early or late game monster. Um, Disgusting. <laughs> and, yeah, and it sets up your field for an early rush, so uh, pretty good. Not bad for Fire Splash. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one Destruction Tyrant Hellrex Maxima. Should I ever have to ride into Dark Rex, God forbid, <laughs> I go into this. Um, she retires a unit, searches for a Rex unit, puts it in the bind zone, and then I give up to three units plus four. Um, good for early pressure, setting oh, stuff up. Yeah. Uh, once a breeze. This uh, Generation Break 2 deck, right? Yeah. Um, this card, uh, I'll probably have to check it out, but I had an interesting ruling about it. Oh, yeah? So, it's kind of last two, you pitch a card, and then you also have to pay for Stride itself, so I thought that was pretty interesting, but it's there. Yeah. Uh, one Twin Tempest, she helped me kind of Against Gear Chronicle, uh, Counter Blast 2, Soul Blast 2, at the end of the battle she attacked, retire three units, and then just blow up the field. Great if we ever play uh, tag team matches, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> um, two, Arch Raider, he's good for early pressure as well, uh, if I don't have enough units to fill for Grotto. Mm -hmm. Eat one, give a unit plus five, or give him plus five, and if he hits, he retires. So, pretty Great. solid pressure. And then, of course, the Ace Stride, Gluttony Dogma himself. Uh, so, Engorge, Generation Break 2, when he eats five units, or when he get, eats three units, he gets plus ten. If he eats five units, he gets restand with Twin Drive. So, free uh, Triple Drive, then Twin Drive. It's pretty Gross. good. <laughs> Anyways, uh, any insights you want to give more about the deck? Um, the deck is very uh, solid. Like It has a lot of advantages, but it can also have a lot of disadvantage. Um, I learned from playing like Night Rose. If they rush you, it's kind of hard to get your feel back, especially that Cannon Air is pretty good. Yeah. Um, Kagero, it can hurt, definitely. Uh, didn't get to play against Link Choker, so I can't exp uh, don't have enough experience for that. Um, How about the Gears matchup? The Gears matchup, like, 
with uh, him spinning stuff to the bottom with warp drive really did hurt. So that's the matchup I had to be very careful on. Um, but other than that, hopefully they get some really good support in GBT10. I'm hoping for a David clone in all honesty. So you can just use Gluttony Dogma for four units instead of uh, five. The dream, right? Yes, the dream. <laughs> um, but other than that, deck is solid. I'm proud that it got me to second place here in Vancouver. So, uh, yeah. Any and, shout outs you want to give out to the viewers out there? Um, shout out to my friends that got me here, had all the faith in me. What up? <laughs> the goofballs. Um, shout out to. Um, sorry. Uh, Ian, yeah. Ian. <laughs> shout out to Ian for. Uh, Recording this is uh, an honor, people. man. Yeah. And uh, subscribe. <laughs> yes, please subscribe. I need it. <laughs> and uh, just shout out to everyone that supported me in the finals. So thank you guys very much. All and right. Thank you all subscribers. Well, thank you very much for sharing your deck profile with us. You're very welcome. Uh, if you guys haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Share it with someone who you think would appreciate it. And as always, my fellow Vanguards, be sure to stand up to the occasion. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Later. Bye.